Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, downloading and programming uh, the CH641 uh, which is a Qi wireless charging and USB PD capable MCU. So I'm going to show you how you set up and download, debug and test this MCU. Um, so you, you're going to need three things which are shown here. Our WCH E-Link uh, this adapter uh, or in a type C interface adapter and then lastly you are going to need the development board which is connected to uh, which is connected to a wireless uh, charger now uh, the the debugging module we need to connect this to the WCH link and then it con gets connected to the USB PD board uh, and uh, it only has f uh, we to debug we only need three connections mainly so we need a reference ground uh, 3v3 and either c1 or c2 can be used as swdio because type c interfaces are symmetric so if you use c1 then uh, you can rotate and use c2 instead now uh, we'll connect the wch link uh, as WDIO pin to C1 or C2 and then we can rotate to see which one will be working Now when it comes to downloading your hex or bin file you need to make sure that uh, You use Mount River studio and then uh, in the configuration download configuration uh, Make sure that you're using the WCH link RV and your MCU target is CH641 If you've downloaded before and you need to reset the MCU and prepare it for another download, then you need to use the WCH MCU utility tool. And for this one, we are going to target uh, the CH641 and then we are going to clear all code flash by power off. This uh, allows the MCU to be rewritten again. So once it's, uh, once it's flashed, we can now re-download uh, another program or a similar program. So the basic uh, production cycle is shown below. We write our code for the CH641. We download via the WCH link connected to a type C interface adapter. And then we reset using the WCH link utility. Okay, so right here we have the machine uh, we have the wireless charger the, our chi wireless charger with our board and then this is the wch link e we will be using so we'll connect sdwi ground and 3v3 and then lastly we have the connector module so this is the one which we shall use to connect uh, our wch link e and our development board uh, as you can see the pins here uh, mostly ground and uh, the stwio connections uh, okay so once we have connected all three it will look something like this so we have our link connected to our connector module which will then be connected to our uh, board for the ch641 alongside a wireless charger module Okay, when you download the source code for the CH641, uh, so this is the source code, and now we're going to uh, download and flash our MCU. So the first thing that we do is uh, we compile the code, uh, we compile some of the source code, but before we do that, we need to reset. So we say target, and then we clear all code flash by power off. This allows us to now be able to uh, download and uh, flash for the MCU so as you can see here uh, we were able to download our MCU and now we are going to go and test it and see if it's working okay so now if we test our uh, different charging conditions so for example we are going to test Qi wireless uh, BPP basic uh, power which is up to 5 watts uh, we can see that the module is working correctly as you can see bpp is working at 5 watts and 122.6 uh, 122.5 uh, kilohertz and then now uh, we can switch this to epp 
which is the extended version, which can go all the way up to 15 watts. As you can see, when we put EPP, it goes up all the way to 15 watts. It takes some time to kick in, but yes, you see it's now at 15 watts at 145 kilohertz. Uh, that's all for this video. If you have any questions about using uh, the dev about using our MCU, uh, you can leave us a comment or send a private message. Or you can reach out on Twitter at uh, Patrick Risk 5 or at WCH Tech. We'll be more than happy to help you out and reply.